Connected. We have team coverage tonight, and we start with political reporter Craig Wall. Craig. Cheryl, President Trump publicly condemning the violence tonight and for the first time signaling an end to the fight that he has waged since Election Day, promising to work with his successor in the remaining days of his presidency. But it won't do anything to derail the efforts to remove him from office, efforts gaining supporters and urgency. The president tonight back on social media, taking to Twitter, condemning the violence and lawlessness that shook the Capitol. The demonstrators who infiltrated the Capitol have defiled the seat of American democracy. To those who engaged in the acts of violence and destruction, you do not represent our country. And to those who broke the law, you will pay. Many Democrats laying the blame for the violence at the feet of the president who called for his supporters to march on the Capitol where Congress was voting to certify the election results. Tonight, the calls mounting for Vice President Mike Pence to invoke the 25th Amendment to declare the president unfit to continue in office. Democrats also talking impeachment. We have to hold him accountable for. Um, you know, basically, he instigated that mob. He takes no responsibility for it. That's why I think it is important for the Congress to keep all of its options in front of it. The conservative-leaning Wall Street Journal editorial board calling on Trump to step down, writing the best outcome would be for him to resign to spare the U.S. another impeachment fight. Even some Republicans calling for the president to be removed. The president is unfit and the president is unwell. And the president must now relinquish control of the executive branch voluntarily or involuntarily. In his video, the president stopped short of conceding, but acknowledged Joe Biden will be the next president. My focus now turns to ensuring a smooth, orderly, and seamless transition of power. This moment calls for healing and reconciliation. We could have used that uh, uh, November 4th, uh, Craig. Um, I think that uh, at this point, um, is very late. But the president may not be the only one facing backlash. Congressman Chuy Garcia calling for censuring Republicans whose rhetoric echoed the president's false claims that the election was